Staggering keyframes is helpful if you have keyframed a lot of layers and want to shift those keyframes in time. Let's create some keyframes here quickly by applying to this text the jump elegant behavior of the Squash and Stretch cartoon bundle. Squash and Stretch is another After Effects tool from us and allows you to create organic animations in no time. But of course, the stagger function of Beat Edit works with any keyframes, no matter how you created them. As you can see, I created the animation already such that it feels to be in sync with the beat. I also created beat markers already and the timing of the keyframes is currently such that all letters jump at this beat marker here. The stagger keyframes feature can shift those keyframes in time now, such that the first layer stays at this beat, the second layer jumps at this beat, the third layer here and so on. To do this, we first select all keyframes on all those layers and as you can see, this can be any kind of keyframes, no matter whether it's a position, effect parameters or anything else on the layers. Then we make sure that the current time indicator is placed at the beat to which those keyframes belong. This is very crucial. It tells BeatEdit that the keyframes we selected belong to this beat and that we now want to shift them in time such that they fit to the next beats coming after this one. Now we click the stagger keyframes icon and in this dialog we can choose if BeatEdit should do the staggering based on the comp markers or directly on the selected beats here inside of BeatEdit. Since I already created markers, let's choose comp markers and apply. Now the result looks like this. If we look at the keyframes, you can see that the keyframes on the first layer are unchanged. So the letter still jumps here at this second marker, which was our reference marker. Now the second layer has the keyframes shifted, such that the jump happens here at the third marker, and so on. One thing that is important to understand is that BeatEdit does not move the keyframes such that they start at the marker. Instead, they preserve the timing we had for our reference marker. In other words, the original keyframes started here 10 frames before the reference marker. So for the second layer, BeatEdit will ensure that the keyframes start 10 frames before this marker, and so on. And that's also why it's so important that you set the current time indicator to the beat marker to which the keyframes belong, because all offsets are calculated based on this beat. To create a little bit more variation, let's undo again and add some extra markers. To do this, we clear the comp markers and then create new ones. So we go here in the beat selection section to add some extra markers. Let's play this back to hear the beat ticks. So at each tick one letter will jump and you can play with the selection parameters here until we have found something that you like. Now with no layer selected we click on the create markers icon to create comp markers. Next we select all keyframes again and we make sure that the current time indicator is at our reference marker. Then we apply again the stagger function. Now the result looks even more interesting. And as you can see, the keyframes now follow exactly the less regular pattern of our markers. Finally, note that the stagger feature also respects the order in which you select the layers. So if you select the layers in a random order here, with the shift key pressed, and now you keep the shift key pressed and select the actual keyframes again in the layer panel, then it will stagger the layers exactly in this order. And here is our final result.